Hello learners, welcome to same course on CAD CAM. I am Dr. K. Tamilmanan, Associate Professor, Mechanical Engineering, School of Engineering and Technology, Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi. Today we are going to discuss the topic on Computer Aided Design, Design Process. Computer Graphics is a one of the major component in the software. Computer Aided Design Software. What is Computer Graphics? What is the need to know the computer graphics? What are the importance of computer graphics? The computer graphics plays a very very important role in creation of digital world. Computer graphics is a branch of computer science that deals with the generating images with the aid of computers. It can be create the various type of images, objects, drawings with the aid of computers. Computer graphics is a core technology in digital photography, film industries, video games, cell phone and various image object display and many specialized applications in engineering and non-engineering. Computer graphics is responsible for displaying art and image data effectively and meaningful to the consumer. So computer graphics is a plays a very important role for displaying the various type of art, images, drawings or text. It, can, it should be very meaningful to the consumer. The consumer able to understand the whatever the displays in the screens. Whatever the displays in the screen. Either it should be either form of art, image, object or, or uh, text and whatever the form. It should be able to understand by the consumer or customers. It is also used for processing image data received from the physical world. So which can be used the computer graphics to process the various image data which can be received from the different sectors such as photos, videos and so on. Computer graphics the development has had significant impact and significant impact on many types of media. So that the computer graphics is uh, provides a significant impact in the various type various field of activities such as <laughs> animation movies advertising video games and graphic design in in general it may be engineering and non engineering in computer graphics which includes interface design sprite graphics rendering ray tracing, geometry processing, computer animation, vector graphics, 3D modeling, shaders, GPU design, implicit surface visualization, image processing, computational photography, scientific visualization, computational geometry and computer vision. These are the field the computer graphics involved in creation of object or image in the screen. Graphics software. So graphics software is a main tool to create the image or objects in the screen. Basically the graphics software is a collection of program written to make it convenient for a user to operate computer graphics systems. Basically it's a collection of program, set of programs. It's written very simple, make it very simple, written in very simple which can be convenient for the user to understand and operate the computer graphic systems. It includes to generate images on the CRT screen, the, to manipulate the images and accomplish the various types of interaction between the user and system, which includes the, the program includes the creation of images, objects and drawings in the CRT screen and it's manipulate the images. The image can be manipulated according to the requirements and accomplish the various types of interactions between the user and systems. The graphics software for a particular computer graphic system is very much function of type of hardware used in the systems. So, the, so that the graphics software for a particular graphic system is the function is based on the type of hardware used in the system. The software must be written specifically for the type of CRT and the type of input devices used in the system. So the software is written should be based on that what type of CRT we are using in the CAD system 
and what type of input devices used in the CAD system. Accordingly, the software should be designed and written. The details of software for stroke writing CRT would be different than raster scan CRT. The software which is written for, uh, for creating the images and objects the, which is used in stroke writing CRT technologies it should be different one. The same time, if you are using the raster scan CRT technology, the software should be in different one. Also, the differences between storage tube and the reference tube would also the influence the graphics software. So that storage tube technologies also have the different set of software and reference tube also having the different set of software. The software difference is the influence the graphics software in the CAD systems. There are six ground rules for which is used to design the good graphics software. These rules, ground rules are defined by Neumann and Sprout. The ground rules are simplicity, consistency, completeness, robustness, performance, economy. So that the designing of graphic software, the software should fulfill the, the all six conditions, satisfy the all six conditions. Simplicity. The, whatever the written the graphic software or design the graphic software, it should be very simple. User can easy to understand. And it should be consistent. Next, consistency. The software package should be operate in consistency. It should not be in lengthy, it should not be in uh, irrelevant. It should be more specified and consistent and predictable way to the user. The user can understand and be able to operate the functions. Completeness. The set of programs should be completeness. It should be completed. It should not be incomplete or it should not be omission in some part. Some part should not be missing in that set of packages. So that there is such kind of problem should not arise. So that it, the, each and every graphic software, it should be complete set of functions, complete set of programs. And robustness. In graphic system should be tolerant of minor instances of misuse by the operator. So sometimes that operator can misused by knowingly or unknowingly. The system itself it should take the rectify the error. So that that uh, error should not reflect in the in the out, in the output of the image. So the self rectifying capability should be in the should be designed in the graphic software and another important is the performance the performance should be exploited such as possible by software the graphics program should be efficient and speed of response should be fast and consistent so the performance the, the program should be efficient it should give the high performance and should be speed also it should be high so it should be consistent also. Another important factor is the cost. The graphic program should not be large, so large or expensive. So the graphics program should be simple, limited and the cost of package should be less. These are the factors while designing the graphic software we should consider and fulfill the Newman and Sprung ground rules. Software configuration of a graphic systems. In software configuration, in the operation of graphic system by users, the variety of activities takes place, which can be divided into three categories, such as that interact with the graphics terminal to create and alter the images screens. So, Interact with the graphics terminal to create the new images or objects or drawings. Also, it can be altered the same images in the screen. Another to construct the model of something physical amount of images on the screen. So the whatever the physical image of the object that can be constructed in the screen. The models are sometimes called application models. 
enter the model in computer memory and or secondary storage. So the data of graphic image, the mathematical in the form of mathematical description or any other type of computer commands which can be stored in the secondary storage. It can be retrieved whenever it's required for designing and drafting. The software configuration of a graphic system have the three main modules, graphic package, application program, application database. These are the three main models play the important role in software configuration of your graphic systems. In this figure blows the block diagram of software configuration of your graphic system. The application database, application program, graphics package is interconnected. Also, this graphics software configuration is interconnected with the design workstation such as the graphics terminal and user input devices, memory devices and so on. So the CAD workstation, the design workstation is inbuilt with the or interconnect with the software configurations. <laughs> graphic package, so there, are, there are three models, graphic package, application program, application database. We will see one by one. The first one is the graphic package. The graphic package is a software support. It is a software support between user and the graphic terminal, graphic system. Mainly the function of graphic package is provide the software support between the user and the graphic system. Also, it manages the graphical interaction between the user and systems. So the various activities in the screen in the screen in the system in the form of graphical interaction has been managed by the graphic package. It also serves as interface between user and application software. It provides the various interface between the user and the application software. The graphic package consists of various input subroutines and output subroutines. So this, these are the, uh, the components of the graphic package. The various graphic package consists of various input subroutines and output subroutines. The input routines accept the input commands and data from the user and then it can be forward to the application program. So the, the main function of graphic package is the input routines accept the input commands and data from the user. When the user enter the commands and data that can be forward to the application program. This is the main function of graphic package. The output subroutines control the display terminals. So the input subroutines is accept the data and commands, but the output subroutines control the display terminal. And it converts the application models into two dimensional pictures or images or three dimensional graphical pictures or images. These are the main function of input subroutines and output subroutines. Another module is the application program. The application program is implemented by the user. So that application program is mainly implemented by the user to construct the model of physical entity which is used to construct the model of physical entity or image or object whose image is to be viewed on the graphics screen. So that which image we can need to create in the screen, the physical object has been construct the model of the physical image. Implement the application program is, is implemented by the user to construct the model of physical images in the screen. Application programs are written for particular areas in engineering design. So the application program program has been written for different areas of in engineering design such as architecture, construction, mechanical components of design of various mechanical components and design of various electronics and computer devices, the various components of chemical engineering applications, various parts and components of aerospace engineering applications. So that the application programs is involved in various types of engineering, various kinds of engineering design. The problems areas other design would include so it also apart from designing of components or machine elements 
it also can helps to simulations animations also graphical display of data so it helps to that uh, simulate flight simulations animations the movement of kinetic parts kinematic analysis also the graphic display of data and mathematical analysis finite element analysis and various type of other engineering analysis also it can perform for art work also another third model is application database the application database is based on the icg interactive computer graphics software the third model in icg software is the database the database contains the application database contains the mathematical numerical and logical definition of application models so the, the application model such as whatever may be its electronic circuits mechanical components and automobile bodies and so on the images of all any components or any devices that mathematical model numerical that that definitions that that means that that mathematical descriptions in the form of mathematical descriptions numerical descriptions and logical definition of all application models all application components that can be stored in database application database it includes alpha numeric informations obviously that all informations is contained that's alphabetic as well as the numericals of the models such as bill of materials mass properties and other data so these all documents also stored in the application database the contents of database can be readily displayed on the crt or plotted out in the hard copy form so the contents in the database is readily displayed the crt so whenever we retrieve from the database at the time of designing of graphic image or objects also this can be plotted in hard copy form so that by using the various plotters or printers so that can be converted into the hard copy form also which can be used for reference of reference in during the designing of machine elements or components and objects next the functions of graphic package so what are the various functions of graphic package the graphic package must perform the variety of different functions the function the graphic package is grouped into set of functions each set of functions accomplished in certain kind of interaction between the user and systems in general the graphic package is grouped into set of functions each and every set of functions is accomplished with the interaction between user and systems the various functions of graphic package are generation of graphic elements transformations display control and windowing functions segmenting functions and user input functions the generation of graphic elements is one of the main functions the graphic element in computer graphics is a basic image entity such as dot line segment circle and so on so the in computer graphics to create the any element or image or object the basic entity the basic requirement is the dot the lines stroke segments and circle curves and so on these are the entities play the important role in the generation of creation of graphic image the collection of elements in the system could also include alpha numeric characters and special symbols in graphic system the collection of elements which include the alpha numeric characters alphabets numericals and other spe special symbols also used in the graphic system there is often special hardware component in graphic system associate with the display of many elements some sometimes that some special hardware component in the graphic system also is associated with for displaying of many elements and different objects in the screen speeds of the process is generating the element it can be increase the speed of the process for generating the graphic element or graphic images the user can construct the application model out of collection elements available in the 
systems. So the you it can helps to the user to construct the application model the out of collection of elements available in the systems. The term primitive, the primitive used in the reference to graphic elements. The use of this term three dimensional graphics construction. The primitive is used for the to the three dimensional graphics construction. The construction of three dimensional images it can be used the primitive. Accordingly, a primitive is a three-dimensional graphics element such as sphere, cube, cylinder, and so on. This kind of primitives which can help to create the three-dimensional modeling or images in the screen. In a three-dimensional wireframe models and solid modeling, primitives are used building blocks to construct the three-dimensional model of particular object of the interest to the user. Show that the particular object has been created. Either it may be wireframe model or solid model. The primitives are used to con construct the building blocks of three-dimensional object. Another important function is the transformations. Transformations are used to change the image on the display screen and to reposition the item in the database. The main function of transformation is to change the images from one position to another position. At the same time, accordingly, the, the mathematical description in the database also can change in the database. The item description of items in the database also changed according to the, in the image has been changed in the screen. The transformation are applied to the graphic elements in order to aid user in constructing the application model. The, the, trans, the various type of transformations are applied to the graphic model based on the the constructing the application model. The transformations include enlargement, reduction of the image by process called scaling, repositioning of the image or translation and rotation. Basically, the three types of transformation, transformations of the graphical image in the takes place, such as scaling, repositioning of the image or translation and rotation. These are the three transformation activities takes place in the transformations. In the scaling concerns that it can be enlarged or reduce the object. On translation concerns that it can be translate from one position to another position. On rotation, the object can be rotation rotated into different angles. So these are the uh, basic transformations techniques. Another function is the display control and windowing functions. The functions set provides a user with the ability to view the image from the desired angle at desired magnifications. So whatever the image has been created in the screen, the user desire need to view the, the particular po portion of the image in particular angle and particular area of the image or portion of the image so that it can be helps the display control and windowing function helps to provide to the users. It can provide the ability or facilities to the users to view the image in desired angle at whatever the angle it is required and whatever the mag desired magnification. It magnifies the particular image or portion of the object. In effect, it makes a various transformation to display the application model the way the user wants to show him. So the user, whatever the way need to display the graphical image or transform the graphical image, so as per is desires that it can be draw, it can be displayed in the screen. This sometimes transferred to as windowing functions because the graphic screen is like a window being used to observe the graphic. The graphic screen like here, it's like a window. The figure shows that the graphic model is a window. The, the cursor position is there. We can view the particular object of the screen. It shows the windowing function show the, the graphic screen like a window to observe the graphic models. The notion is that window can be placed wherever the desired in order to look at the object being is model. So whatever the angle or whatever the desired position, we can look at the model and we can image has been 
viewed, enlarged, or magnified. Another aspect of display control is hidden line removal. So this is another important parameter or another aspect in the display control interview functions. So we can remove the hidden line in the object. So it can be avoid the misinterpretation while designing of machine elements or machine components. So it provides the clear image of the object for designing of machine elements or machine components. In the most graphic system, the image is made up of lines used to represent the particular object. In general, it's all the most of the graphic system, the image is made up of the lines format only to represent the particular object. The hidden line removal process is procedure by which image is divided into visible and invisible lines. The image has been divided into visible lines and invisible lines, invisible lines. So that we can be able to identify the hidden line which can be removed. So that the misinterpretation of the image has been avoided. In some systems, the user must identify which lines are invisible that they can be removed from the image to make it more understandable. That is the facilities for hidden line removal feature. The user must identify the which lines are invisible, which lines are need to delete so that it can be removed from the image so that designer can make easy to understand the drawings or images in the screen. In other systems, the graphic package is sufficiently sophisticated to remove the hidden lines, remove the picture automatically. So some of the graphic package having the inbuilt facilities to remove the hidden line removal in automatically. So that system software itself identify the hidden line or invisible lines is automatically removed from the image of the object. Another important function is the segmenting functions. Segmenting functions provide the users with capability to selectively replace, delete and modify the portion of the image. So if we want to select the particular portion for replace or delete or modify the portion. So that the, in the, for these activities, the segmenting functions helps to the users to do the such activities. The term segment refers to the particular portion of the image which has been identified for purpose of modifying. The segment which is the segment of the image has been identified for the purpose and modifying the it. So the figure shows the various segments of the solid object. So F1, F2, F3, F4. So this is every figure the component shows the different objects, different segments. The segment may be defined as single element or logical grouping elements that can be modified as a unit according to the object. So the according to the object or image, the segment has been defined as a single element or the logical group of elements. The storage type CRT tubes are unsuited to segmenting functions. So the storage tube is not helps to the, it's not fit for the segmenting functions. To delete or modify the portion of image on a storage tube requires erasing entire pictures and redrawing it with the changes is incorporated. So that you need to be erasing the entire picture. If we need that modify the particular portion of the image, we cannot modify it or alter in the particular portion of the image. We need to erase the entire pictures, entire object and we have to redraw again. So in this uh, that uh, reason that that storage type CRT not used in the segmenting functions. So raster scans refresh tubes ideally suited to segmenting functions. Why? Because the screen is automatically redone 30 or more times per second. So that the raster scan technology, the raster scan refresh tube technology used for the segmenting function because it's automatically re redone 30 or more times per second. In segmenting functions, the image is regenerated each cycle of display file. The file is used for storage that is part of hardware in the raster scan CRP. So that all uh, display file, the image is regenerated and stored in the display file. She can be retrieved whenever it's required for create images and objects. The segment can readily defined as a portion of file would then be deleted or alter the execute the 
particular segmenting function. The, the portion of file we can delete or alter the particular segmenting functions. Another important function is the user input functions. The user input functions constitute the critical set of functions in the graphic package. The user input functions uh, have the critical set of functions is, is, is constituted in the graphic package because they permit the operator to enter the commands or data to the systems. The entry is accomplished by means of operator input devices. So the entry of data and commands is based on that operator input devices. The user input functions be written specifically for the particular complement of input devices used in the systems. So that every user, every input functions is have this specific written functions for the particular complement of input devices used in the systems. The extent to which the user input functions are well designed has to significant effect on how friendly the system is to the user. That is how easy to work on the system. So the designing of the user input devices so the user input functions are well designed as significant effect it should be friendly design it should be very friendly to the user and it should be easy to the user to work on the system so accordingly the user input function has to be designed the input function should be written maximize the benefits of interactive feature of icg so the input function should be written it should be created to maximum the benefits of the interactive ICG systems. The software design compromise is to find the optimum balance between the providing function to conveniently cover all data entry situations. So that the designing of user input functions, it should be balanced between the functions and data. And during the entry data entry situations. So it's a balance between the providing the enough functions and conveniently cover all data entry situations. It, it should make a balance between the both of these activities. One of the goals that are sought after software designer with little or no programming experience can function effectively on the system. These are another important parameters while designing the user input functions. That, uh, the new fresh designer or without experience or little experience can also perform in the so working on software, effectively working on the system. So accordingly, we can design the user input. So in this uh, designing of graphic software, we have various types of uh, softwares available in the market, such as AutoCAD, TurboCAD, which is used for designing of 2D images, two dimensional graphic images, drawings, and objects, and ProE, ProE Wildfire SolidWorks, which is used for designing of three dimensional images, objects, machine components, and ANSYS, ANSYS Fluids, CADIAS, which is used for design and analysis of various objects and various components. This can be finite element analysis stress analysis, strain analysis, thermal analysis, and kinematic analysis, and so on. So, uh, learners, we have covered in this unit, in this topic, the software configuration of a graphic systems, which includes graphic package, application program, application database, and various function of graphic package, such as generation of graphic elements, various transformations, display control and windowing functions, segmenting functions, user input functions. These are the function of graphic package. So we have covered the software configuration of this graphic system and function of graphic package. So this, there are various books for further readings in CAD CAM. So that some of important CAD CAM books are here. The CAD CAM sim by Radhakshan P. CAD CAM by Brewer Michael P. Zimmers, Emory W, CADCAM by P. N. Rao, Mastering CADCAM by Ibrahim Said. These are the books which can be used for further reading. Learners, so far we have covered the various topics in 
design process such as Shigley design process, computer aided design process, computer application to the design process, various application of CAD systems, various benefits of CAD systems. Hope you might have understood the various computer aided design process. Thanks for passion listening.